The next Great Save is a national contest for funds to help save and renew historic places. It wraps up in just a few days, and the historic Welland Fire Hall needs your help. Claire Masswall is the building manager. Claire, this building is over 100 years old, am I right? 104 years old this year. Yep, it was built in 1920. How long did it operate as an actual fire hall in use? When was it sort of mothballed? Uh, it was mothballed in 2006. That was the last uh, group that worked in that. And we have a plaque on the wall that uh, the guys signed their names, guys and girls, signed their names on the wall to say that this was their last shift in the fire hall. A lot of historic buildings throughout Niagara, after they're no longer of use, they end up often being torn down. How was this one saved? This is such an iconic building. Uh, we fought for two years to get the lease to um, work on this building and, re and restore it. Um, so. It was sitting for so long, it really needed some repairs. But we're moving along. We've got the funds to uh, do all the electrical, the plumbing, all the roofs, all the outside's been done, the repointing of the bricks, and um, we're moving ahead. So this $50,000 would help us finish the second and third floors. We're gonna get to that money in, in just oh, a moment. Yes, I've gotta ask the you money. the obvious question. <laughs> How many times have you slid down the fire pole? Not yet, but everybody not wants yet. to. Not everybody wants to do it, and we have two. That'd be the so, first thing I would do. Oh, everybody says that, and we've had to block off really the second floor where the fire poles <laughs> go down. Um, but I said, as long as uh, we give them a cloth with some brasso to clean those poles, <laughs> right? And we'll make a fund, do a fundraiser out of that, and uh, really put some heavy-duty mattresses down there so people can slide down and have some fun. <laughs> so the plans for the building, you are, you want an, an event space up top museum on the bottom that museum basically not dedicated museum. No. not museum no be a historical display historical display but we have so many artifacts that were left there so it's one of the most iconic buildings um, and it's um, got the original artifacts in it so it's so exciting and so interesting and we inherited and uh, got donations from the fire halls that closed in Welland so we have things right back to when the volunteers built this fire hall it was the volunteers who built it originally Amazing. It is amazing building. This contest, how did you find out about it? Our talented leader, Nora Reed, who was the former um, director of the museum, um, found out about it and she applied and we won one of 12 spots across Canada. So you're one of 12 finalists. Yes, we are. But it's a it's stiff competition. It's, it's stiff competition and we had to do an enormous amount of work to, to get be part of this, so um, we're hoping that we can move our numbers up. We're, we're pretty far down, but we haven't had a lot of media attention, and that was one of the reasons that I called Kojiko, because Kojiko, everybody watches Kojiko, and, uh, and I'm a Kojiko subscriber, so I called Jack, and he said, call, call the office, and uh, thank you so much for letting us be here today. We've only got till May the 6th. Everybody can vote every day. So that's my routine every morning, get my coffee, right, first thing. vote right away. Uh, I even stood in line at Tim Hortons and got some guys that had their phones in their hands to do it, <laughs> and they did. <laughs> so I'm persevering here, <laughs> and we really appreciate your help. And it's, it's interesting to me, too, as, because some of these smaller communities have done really well in their voting, but again, I look at those smaller communities, and they might not have as many things going on in, the, in yeah. those towns, yeah. right? And we've got half a million people here in Niagara, so why aren't we getting more votes? So I said, we've got to get out there and do more to uh, you know, tell people what's happening. Because I mean, it's an honor for Welland to be on this list from across Canada. And we really thank the National Trust for Canada and Ecclesiastical Insurance that puts up the $65,000. So the grand prize is 50,000, the second prize is 10,000, and third prize is 5,000. So. So you're um, aiming for that top prize. We are aiming, and we're working hard, but I'm sure all the other contestants are, and we wish them all well. But uh, we thought we'll give Niagara a boost and show them what we're made of and get people voting for this uh, fi fantastic building. That 50000 would go towards which aspects of the... the second and third floors. Second and yep. third floors. Yep. And that will be, as I said, an event space? Is that the plan? That, those, are, those are for artists, artisans, and a community hub. Right. You know, we sit in the heart of downtown Welland and it needs some upgrading. So I think this would be a way to just boost the economy in downtown and bring people in. It'll be a tourist attraction. We've had people come from Manitoba. They climbed all over the building and they were just 
so impressed and they were just so excited about it. And I'm sure once these doors are opened and people see how far we've come with the renovations, they'll be very, very surprised. It'll be a fantastic hub well, for the a, downtown it's core. A, it's a real gem. It's, it's, it's a beautiful building. It is. It is, really. It was built so well. Um, you know, the uh, original architect, Mr. Lachance, did a fantastic job. And we have the original plans for that fire hall. And one other exciting aspect is that we have an original truck that was bought for that fire hall. It's a Bickle truck. And it was sitting on a bench uh, in a farm up in Erin, Ontario. And right. the man that was restoring it passed away. His uh, family called the Welland Fire Department and we went up to see it. And due to a generous donor, we were able to buy that truck and bring it back to Welland. We have the original um, purchase order. It was bought for 4400 and something dollars. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. at that time in 1926. So July 1926 was the purchase order to bring that truck. Amazing. So, so amazing, amazing artifacts. People will just be uh, surprised and excited to see that and let the children learn the history of firefighting uh, in Welland and, and, Niagara, and, Niagara. and Niagara. Well, let's get everybody to hit the website and vote. And if we, we, we well, the website, it's right behind us. Yes. Right? Yes. The great, nextgreatsave.ca. Next, that's right. Let's get everybody in Niagara to vote and help the historic Welland Fire Hall to win this contest. Claire, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. And thank you to Kojiko.